What's up, Home Slice? Lucas here. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can learn the cart full in one day or less. You can learn this cart full using this simple backyard barrier hack to help guide you over. Learn the trick without smashing on your face. You can learn this easily. So pay attention. By the end of this video, you'll know how to cart full. But you gotta focus. All right, so this is going to be the tricker cart full. So form doesn't have to be the best, but obviously you can make your form as good as you want. Regardless, the first thing you wanna do is build your barrier, all right? Now, ideally you want your barrier to be about waist high. If you've watched the B-twist hack and the cork hack that we've already done using this exact barrier, you know that this is a pretty ideal shape, okay? About waist high, and it's about two feet wide, which is about the maximum width you really want this thing. You don't want it super wide, you know, uh, towards the way you're going to go over it because if it is too wide you just you're going to end up on top of it not over and around it like we want now it's also long okay this thing's about maybe four feet long which is plenty assuming i'm flipping this way so if i did a back full i would be going backwards in this way now with the cart full you don't necessarily have to i mean you can if you want if you want it to look pretty and, and slick you can land like this off your cartwheel and then do a back full. But guys, listen, the way I do it, the easier way to do it is you land sideways and you cheat into it and you basically end up not even doing a full, all right? Gymnastics coaches will cringe and freak everywhere. So with a back full, I would stand this way because I'm flipping that way, but with this hacked cart full, that's still gonna look cool and that's all that matters. I'm gonna start like this. Now, to make this even easier, even easier to learn, you can overshoot and cheat before you even jump. And that's what we're gonna start to work on before we even add in the cartwheel, is just getting that rotation down. I think it works a lot easier this way. To cheat, to really cheat, just hang this out so that you can get this move easily. Start sideways like this, then we're gonna take the outside shoulder, we're gonna wrap it in and around. We're gonna put that elbow onto the beginning of our pad right here, our platform. And we're going to jump up, onto our back and twist over around and out and you're going to land on this side facing the way you came from this is extremely similar to the B twist it's almost identical except for your foot uh, doesn't necessarily have to be towards the object like the B twist okay and another thing different is you're jumping off of both legs pretty much at the same time with the B twist we kind of hung the leg out in the back and we jumped off the leading leg. This one, we're jumping off both legs at the same time. So if that was a little weird, if that was too much twisting at first, you can really break this down even further. Face the object head on. Then that outside shoulder, if I was on the side, is now facing it as well. I'm gonna just tuck that in a little bit now, put my elbow onto the barrier. I'm gonna roll up onto my shoulder. Then I'm here on my back and I'm gonna continue rolling over facing back where I came from. So if it was hard to do that from here, start like this, do that a few times, and then slowly turn out of it until you're comfortable with right here. So as you go through this, you also wanna work more on the jump. Jumping your upper body up as you tuck that shoulder in and bring that elbow into the beginning of the pad and roll over it, okay? You don't necessarily wanna just work on the twist, you wanna work on the jump and twist, allowing the object to guide you over it. You'll start to feel it as it gets more and more fluid. It feels great. Once you get to about there, then we can start to think about adding our cartwheel into this. So with the tricking full, I like to do a literal cartwheel. The classical gymnastics cart is basically you face one way and then when you're done, you end up facing the other way. With this sideways cartwheel, you literally are always sideways. And I mean, that's not right, but what is right? I think what's right is what looks cool. So literally from here, because obviously I cartwheel from this way to this way, I'm gonna cartwheel out of it to get a decent estimation of where I should begin my cartwheel. So, doing the wheel to the side, about right here. From the side, right here, right where I cartwheeled out, I'm gonna cartwheel in, and you can go slow, because I'm gonna pause, then I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna twist, and I'm gonna land. Work on this a few times. Start right from here, cartwheel out to judge your distance. Cartwheel back in, you can pause, think about it, spot everything, jump, land. Then what you try to do from here is you try to smooth that timing between the cartwheel and the jump. You try to tie it together so there isn't 
much of a pause. So it's not a pause, so you get the momentum off the cartwheel into your roll. The one thing about using the barrier is you gotta time it out because you don't wanna end your cartwheel right here and then jump, try to jump into it and end up smacking this thing, okay? So you gotta be sure you're landing in the right spot. That's why I recommend starting here, cartwheeling out, then cartwheeling it in. And that's why I also recommend pausing a few times in the earlier stages before jumping into it because you want to see where you're jumping so you don't jump too far away or heck maybe even like too close and it just messes you up and then try to decrease the timing between the cart and the jump so that it's not a pause and rather it's a chain of momentum so you're getting that momentum off that cartwheel into your spin so you're doing a cartwheel and you're getting like a pop off of it into your full over the barrier so at this stage, you can literally take as long as you want. You can take as long as you want at any stage, right? You want to get comfortable. But at some point, you're going to notice you're feeling very fluid between the cart, the pop, the full over the barrier, and um, just using the object less and less. Once you get used to it, you're not even going to need the object anymore. And that's the point of this thing. You're going to take it away and then you'll be able to cart full. But at your first steps, it might be a little scary. So what you can choose to do, put something soft down. Um, if you have access to any other equipment or anything like that, use that. If you wanna throw this on the ground without anything there, and you're still a little sketched out after using this, check out my double hand method for learning this move. Link in the description, or I'll put a little card up there. That is like freedom, no equipment necessary. Yeah, once you get light over this object, Take it away, boom, cart full, there it is. Remember, practice safely. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. We have more hacks, more videos coming out. Stay tuned. Hope you all have a good one. Peace. I'll see you all in the next video.